Okay, let's take a portrait where skin has clumps, blemishes, some little wrinkles and a couple of spots. Usually the best appropriate tool is the blemish removal tool. In this case we have several blemishes to close to each other, so I'll select the healing brush tool. Set the brush size to 80 pixels, according to the picture size and the area that you wish to clone. Point on an area that you think is becoming, then while pressing the left mouse button hit the Alt key. Set the brush hardness to a lower value such as 38 or even less, if you sense that the brush is affecting too much the picture lower the flow percentage, keep the brush opacity to 100%. Now work thoroughly with patience to heal every flaw in order to achieve a smooth surface. Clone close areas in order to get a seamless result. Avoid mixing bright areas with shadowed areas. With the healing brush tool you can amend clumps, spots, and wrinkles. You can blot every point in the surroundings and in some cases you can brush along an area when possible.
for the best result you'd better work on a raw file and heal thoroughly most as possible every pore. Now duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl J or Command J. Apply the frequency separation filter. Keep most of the details in the low frequencies layer in order to apply a soft smoothness. Here I want to show you that using the Gaussian blur on the low frequencies is not the best solution, I am going to use the healing brush tool on the low frequencies to improve the under eye region. Unselect by pressing Ctrl D or Command D. Now take the freehand selection tool feather the selection about 15 to 20 pixels then select a region working on the low frequency layer. Blur just a little using the Gaussian blur filter. Do the same on the chin. Now I'm going to show you the before and after compared. Clumps are gone.